Can you really tow three and a half tons with a plug-in hybrid ute? Well, the GWM Canon Alpha PHEV says yes, and with up to 115 kilos of EV only range and a proper low range full drive system. So does the spec stack up or is it just brochure bait? Let's dig in. But first let's pause for a second because is a hybrid even useful for touring? Long highway runs and steady speed towing do not favor hybrids. Without regular braking or deceleration, you're not regenerating power, meaning you're just hauling around a 37 kilowatt hour battery for no real gain. Still, GWM's gone big, that battery is huge, and for ABN holders, it starts from only $60,490 drive away, and that's for the top spec Ultra, which throws in massaging seats, a panoramic roof, and more screens than most caravans. So it all sounds impressive. But let's see if those numbers stack up when we run the tow maths. Now GVM, or gross vehicle mass, is how much the vehicle itself is allowed to weigh, and that includes you, your gear, a ball bar, a fridge, and everything in the tray. Payload is what's left over once the ute's curb weight is subtracted from its GVM. In this case, you get 685 kilos of payload. GCM, or gross combination mass, is the max legal weight of the vehicle and the trailer behind it together. For the Canon Alpha PHEV, that's 6,745 kilos. And brake tow capacity, the headline grabber, that's three and a half ton. But it doesn't mean you can load and tow at its maximum limit at the same time. So here's an example. Maxed out three and a half ton caravan with a 350 kilo ball weight. Now that ball weight gets counted against your payload. So after subtracting the ball weight from your payload, you're left with only 335 kilo for people, gear, and accessories. That's two adults, a couple of duffel bags, maybe, but no full fridge, no bikes, no dog, and definitely no drawers in the back of the tub full of tools and recovery gear. Example two, a more realistic load, or 80% of the maximum tow capacity, a 2,800 kilo van with a 280 kilo ball weight. Now you're well under your GCM, which is nice, but the GVM and payload are still your limit. The 280 kilo ball weight still counts directly against your payload. Subtract that from the Canon Alpha's 685 kilo limit, and you're left with 405 kilos for everything else. And now that's your passengers, your gear, your fuel, maybe a fridge in the tub. So the bottom line, yes, the Canon Alpha PHEV can tow three and a half tons, but not while carrying any kind of load. Now, like most vehicles, there's always a compromise, and tow capacity versus payload is the common theme. It's not the spec sheet that'll catch you out. It's how those numbers overlap when you actually pack for a trip. Under the bonnet, the Canon Alpha PHEV runs a two litre turbocharged petrol engine. But the real talking point is the hybrid system. It uses a 37.1 kilowatt hour lithium battery, big for a plug-in hybrid, which is paired to dual electric motors to produce a combined 300 kilowatts and a quite astounding 750 newton meters of torque. And remember, unlike the BYD Shark, this torque goes through a reduction gearbox to multiply it. Now the drivetrain is full-time four-wheel drive with low range gearing, a locking rear differential is standard and in the ultra spec you get a front locker too. There are dedicated drive modes for things like snow, sand, mud and towing. Now for range, officially the Canon Alpha claims up to 115 kilometers on electric power alone. Now that won't be towing obviously. And the combined range is claimed to be just over a thousand kilometers with a full tank of fuel and a full charge but again that won't be towing. That's just brochure talk. In the real world, especially when towing a full-size caravan, an off-road type caravan, you can expect fuel use to climb well beyond the claimed 7.9 litres per 100, likely to 20 to 24 litres per 100 when on the flat, really stopping like we do when we are towing on the road. This means a 350 to 400 kilometre range is probably more likely before you need to start using the battery or swing past a petrol bowser. One of the more interesting features of the Canon Alpha PHEV, at least on paper, is what that big 37.1 kilowatt hour battery could do once you're parked up. 
Now GWM says it supports vehicle to load capacity at up to six kilowatts, which if it works as claimed, would be enough to run an entire camp. Induction cooktops, lights, a fridge or two, even a coffee machine or aircon units for days, not hours. Now how the Canon could feed the campsite is not clear yet. Where the Ranger plug-in hybrid has two 15 amp, 230 volt outlets in the tub, the Canon does not. It looks like you need to use a V2L adapter plugged into the CCS2 charge port. Now that's not a deal breaker, but it's also not as simple or intuitive as what the Ranger or BYD Shark uses. We are also not sure on how the Canon manages charging at camp. When driving, there is a dedicated charge mode that pushes as much power as possible to the battery to save for later. But when parked up and when the battery is running low, then what? GWM hasn't confirmed if the Canon can automatically restart the engine while powering external loads, the way a Ranger can, which is honestly one of the best features of the Ranger plug-in hybrid. So yes, it's a promising rig for campsite power with a huge battery and a decent six kilowatt output. But I'd like to hear if it can autonomously charge when the battery drops. Right now, the Alpha P Hev looks like a serious contender, but whether it's a smart bet or an unknown gamble depends on how well those unanswered questions play out.